What's up guys? Uh, taking a little time tonight. I know the lighting's terrible, but like I said, this is when I kind of get to do a lot of my little nitpicky tedious stuff. Um, and planted these, uh, let's see, what day did I put on here? 2... 19. Just planted these about a week and a half ago, two weeks or so. And uh, I noticed a bunch of things didn't come up, a bunch of things all my seeds came up and I've got doubles. So I'm gonna uh, go in here and transplant doubles and re-sow what, um, what didn't come up. I was pretty disappointed with a couple things. Uh, these Gerber daisies, I saved the seeds. I don't think they're viable for whatever reason. But these asters from Baker Creek, I had two out of 18 come up. Pretty disappointed in that. So I'm gonna be re-sowing those and uh, be putting them in pretty hard. Also, I picked up another packet of marigolds. They ran out uh, when I planted before, so I'm gonna get these in. This is the Cracker Jack mix. Uh, love those marigolds for planting with the tomatoes. Alright. Normally, Baker Creek, if it's. Oh. Overpacked due to low germination. Well, there you go. It's only 37%. We got a little less than that, so I'm gonna probably put three or four seeds for a hole and see what happens. So can't fault Baker Creek too much there. They did say it on there. I just didn't read. Uh, they know it's a low germ seed, so they send you a butt ton of them. I should have realized that when I picked that packet up. And there's several hundred seeds in there. But that'll work. We'll get those planted in. They'll only be a week and a half, two weeks behind the other ones. So it shouldn't matter too terribly much. They'll, they'll catch up eventually. Planting three, four, five, kind of whatever falls out into a hole. And uh, it's going to be funny this time that every single seed is going to germinate and I'm going to have just a forest of seedlings coming up. Or might strike out again and have nothing. Who knows? Again, can't fault Baker Creek too much for that. It does say right on there, overpacked due to low germination. So, got those in there. I'm going to pull these Gerber Daisy tags. I am fairly certain they are not viable. And I've got them. Now I'm going to put these marigolds in that packet. It is the 4th of March. I always like to put a date on there, just kind of keep it in my mind when these got planted, because I'll forget. I won't have a solitary clue. And I did dig up these uh, some of these Gerber daisies um, just to see and none of the seeds have done anything so I'm, I'm fairly certain that they just I didn't save them correctly I'm assuming I just kind of tossed them out and let them dry on their own and I don't think they are viable um, down and move along to see so that's planted that's planted um I 
also had fairly poor performance out of these Xenias, these Queen Lime Orange. I had about, this about 50 50 with them. I'm gonna go back in. I'll leave that one there. I'm gonna go back in and, and plant some of these, these cells that are missing. I'm gonna go add a seed or three to them. See if we can't perk them up. We love flowers. My wife and little girl both. And my, my little boy too. They love to make bouquets. Put them up on the mantle. Whoop. Well, there's one that's coming up. Just a little early. Be planting him. Hope y'all can hear me. I have a freezer that uh, sounds like a freight train for whatever reason. Okay. And that's replanted those. I think that's all the replanting I'm going to do for this. Um, yeah, everything else looks good. I got the Cosmos coming up good. These old, uh, these other. Uh, zinnias coming up good. Just these queen lime orange, they're, like I said, they're about 50%. And the Gerber daisies were not there at all, so replace them with some marigolds and then the asters, uh, which my fault, not Baker Street fault, once again. Uh, reading's hard. I went over to the greenhouse and looked at my pepper and tomato trays. Uh, my pepper tray looked really good. I'm kind of surprised how well everything germinated. The only thing that didn't germinate was these potapinos, they're dwarf jalapeno. Again, I saved the seeds and just kind of threw them off to the side and let them dry out. Uh, they're not viable, so I'm going to take some of these duplicates. Uh, some of these tomatoes had really good germination, and I'm going to transplant them. I'm going to pull up the doubles. Uh, some of them have some empty cells, going to move them there, and then some of them I'm going to put in this extra six pack and uh, just have singles. Okay, so if you've never done this, it's pretty simple. It can be kind of intimidating uh, looking at it. But tomatoes are, they're kind of sissies, but in the same sense, they are very hardy. Because uh, you can, I've broken tomatoes completely off before and went back and just buried them up to the first set of leaves. Or I've even pulled the first set of leaves off and buried them up to the next set of leaves. And they have grown back, no issue. Um, but yeah, you just take your time, get a small stick, get underneath them, start uplifting them, and then you just kind of shake them apart. So see those are kind of coming up together. These are a little big. There you go. See, there's another one. A bunch of these came up. These bonnie bass had a very good germination. Well, that one didn't have very many roots, which is good for transplanting. Nice and easy on the seedling. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Just get under there, kind of pry them up a little bit. Hold them both, give them a shake. And there you go. And then pull one back down in there. That's all there is to it. So I'm back at the planting table today. Uh, got my herbs ready to go in a tray, get them started for this uh, year. I know it feels like that's all I've been doing is, is starting seeds lately, but uh, that's the time of year it is. It's March, so it's it's time to get everything going for the summer garden. Um, all of these are new to me, except for basil. I've never really grown an herb tea garden before, but it was something I wanted to try out. Uh, I know there's 
lots of medicinal properties to different herbs and just wanted to have that that option i guess so i've got a few things here that i'm, I'm putting in i'm putting in sage uh never grown it i've cooked with it but never grown it uh echinacea or cone flower i know a lot of folks use the use them for teas uh chamomile uh i know that's a tea herb peppermint and regular mint uh also herbs i think they're good for like your respiratory tract as well uh and basil love to cook with basil uh and just love to interplant it in the tomatoes it helps with uh deterring pests from your tomatoes had a lot of good luck la yeah, last year excuse me with it uh didn't do a whole lot of pest control just used basil and marigolds and they kept my tomatoes pretty well pest free that was something good i thought i would talk about um i without thinking about it dibbled a hole threw some seeds in and uh i got to thinking about it and said hey mint are you supposed to put that in the underground or is that a surface cell and i got to looking and it is a surface so it needs light to germinate so read your packets follow the instructions because i probably wouldn't have got a single one of them to germinate if i had them in a quarter inch hole one more thing i thought i would mention is the seeds for these mint plants are so small that when you pick up one you pick up about 10 or 15. Uh, I would not recommend doing it outside on a windy day. I'll probably have mint plants all over the place because the wind is blowing, I would say 10, 15 miles an hour and I'm trying to sow these little tiny, you can't even see them when you put them in your hand. You just kind of have to feel for them and maybe that's hard. Uh, so would suggest doing it indoors if possible. probably giving y'all time lapse uh seasickness but i just wanted to show you these seeds let me see if i can get them on the screen here uh focus these things are tea tiny i planted a six pack uh cell six cell pack of peppermint and i probably put 50 60 seeds <laughs> One thing I like to do with these, uh, especially these surface sow seeds, is give them a good spritz. Uh, really kind of sets them down in that top layer of dirt. Gets them a good layer of moisture on them so that germination will hopefully start and that seed will crack open. Uh, that's my herb garden. I know it probably pales in comparison to some folks, if you've got a herb that you grow, uh, that, think every, thinks, that you think everyone should grow, leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out.